oxygen eating away at metal through the formation of rust. It's a fairly common sight, right? What if the same were to happen within our bodies? The accumulation of free radicals inside the body that slowly feast on its cells and cause many scary diseases like cancer is termed oxidative stress. In today's video, we're going to look at oxidative stress in detail. What are some of the signs and how you can try to reduce it? So let's jump right into it, shall we? What is oxidative stress? Oxidative stress is the imbalance of free radicals and antioxidants. Whoa, whoa, stop right there. What are free radicals and antioxidants? To understand that, you'll need to wrap your head around a little chemistry. Don't worry, we'll try to simplify this as much as possible. I'm assuming that you haven't taken a single chemistry class in your life, so let's start with chemical reactivity. How reactive an element is depends on the number of the electrons in the last shell of its atoms. Think of an atom as a ball that's surrounded by concentric rings. These rings increase in diameter as you go outward from the central ball. Each ring needs to have a set number of balls for completion. The central ball is the nucleus of the atom, and the balls on the rings are electrons. All the electrons of the atoms are filled in shells from the nearest shell from the nucleus to the farthest. If the outermost shell is not greater than or equal to everything, tries to achieve stability. If you disturb a stationary pendulum, after a few vibrations, it would return to its resting place. Similarly, the atoms try to achieve their stability by trying to complete their shells. To achieve this, the atoms bargain with other atoms and compounds to complete their shells by either donating their electrons or taking them from other atoms. In the process, they form bonds and compounds, but let's not get into the detail of that. The unstable compounds with an unpaired electron that can exist independently inside of our bodies are known as free radicals. These reactive species readily react with anything and everything wherever they are, thus leaving a trail of destruction behind. Being unstable, they try to complete themselves by stealing electrons from atoms of cells, and by doing so, they make those atoms unstable. You can guess what happens next. A chain reaction of atoms getting unstable and making others unstable and in the process damaging and interfering with different functions of the body. There are many different free radicals, but the most important oxygen-containing radicals include hydroxyl radical, anion radical, hydrogen peroxide, oxygen singlet, etc. These radicals are highly reactive and can damage the DNA, proteins, carbohydrates, and lipids in the cell membranes and nucleus. While these reactive species don't distinguish between friends and foes and attack everything indiscriminately, their major preys include lipids, nucleic acids, and proteins. So free radicals are bad news for our bodies. But you might be surprised to know that some of these free radicals are produced by our bodies. If free radicals are such a bad thing, then why do our bodies produce them? Well, it can't be helped because they are produced as a byproduct of metabolism. Other than that, we can also get exposed to free radicals through cigarette smoke, polluted air, x-rays, ozone, and industrial chemicals. Also, exercise, inflammation, and certain drugs can lead to the generation of free radicals. But where does oxidative stress fit in all of this? The number of small free radicals cannot be avoided, and is not damaging to a great extent since antioxidants take care of them. But when the generation of free radicals is too great to be tackled by antioxidants, then it is known as oxidative stress, and it can cause damage to DNA, lipids, and protein. Also, the initiation, promotion, and propagation of many types of cancer have been linked with an imbalance between free radicals and antioxidants. Not only that, but free radicals, especially the oxygen-containing radicals, have also been linked with inflammatory diseases like arthritis, vasculitis, and adult respiratory disease syndrome. Other diseases and conditions that are frequently linked with oxidative stress include heart diseases, stroke, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, high blood pressure, gastric ulcers, neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and the list goes on and on. It appears that all hell breaks loose when the balance between the free radicals and antioxidants is disturbed. So what are these magical compounds called antioxidants that keep the evil of oxidative stress at bay? Antioxidants are the molecules that can neutralize the reactive free radicals safely without themselves becoming unstable. These molecules delay or inhibit cellular damage by scavenging free radicals. Our bodies produce these compounds, but some are required to be consumed through food. These are the essential antioxidants and they include vitamin C, vitamin E, beta carotene, selenium. Some of the foods that are rich in antioxidants includes berries like strawberries and blueberries, green vegetables like kale and lettuce, dark chocolate, and beans. If you want to know more about antioxidants and their health benefits, we have done a whole video on them already. The link is in the description box below. 
Signs and Symptoms of Oxidative Stress Oxidative stress is bad news and it should be dealt with as soon as possible. If the oxidative stress is not caught early on, then the damage can become irreversible. Some of the signs that your antioxidant levels are not keeping up with free radical generation include fatigue, memory loss, muscle pain, wrinkles, gray hair, decreased eyesight, headache, susceptibility to infections, unstable blood sugar levels. Though these signs are common to many conditions and illnesses, if you see a few of these symptoms manifesting in you, then you need to take the necessary steps to lower your free radical levels and increase your antioxidant levels. Let's look at a few things that you can do to get rid of oxidative stress and prevent it in the future. How to reduce oxidative stress. Number one, eat antioxidant-rich foods and avoid fried foods. The best way to tackle oxidative stress is to increase your antioxidant intake. Many chemicals can act as antioxidants. The most prominent of them include vitamin C and E, glutathione, and beta-carotene. Now there are two routes that you can take to increase the concentration of these chemicals. You can either take supplements of these chemicals or you can eat antioxidant-rich foods. Research on antioxidants is mixed. Some research even points towards the harmful effects of supplementing with antioxidants. So it is better to take the other route, increasing antioxidant intake through food. Some of the antioxidant-rich foods include berries, citrus fruits, cherries, prunes, beans, dark chocolate, and green leafy vegetables. Fried foods, especially processed foods, on the other hand, trigger the release of free radicals and thus should be avoided. Number 2. Make exercise a habit A routine of regular exercise has been shown to increase the body's natural antioxidant levels and decrease oxidative stress. Not only that, but regular exercise can also help with tackling other health problems like cardiovascular diseases and has also been linked with a longer lifespan. Also, you don't need to go overboard to get these benefits. Intense exercise with adequate rest can have the opposite effect as it could lead to oxidative stress rather than preventing it. Number 3. Get plenty of sleep Sleep is the best therapy that is often underestimated. Not getting enough sleep is linked with many problems down the road. Oxidative stress is one such problem. An interesting study called A Bidirectional Relationship Between Sleep and Oxidative Stress in Drosophilia was published in 2018. This study found that oxidative stress actually triggers sleep and that sleep then acts as an antioxidant for the body and brain. Although the subjects of the study were Drosophilia files, it is still an intriguing study and it can have similar implications for humans too. Number 4. Avoid Stress Physical and mental stress can also trigger oxidative stress and so it should be managed in a healthy way. A good way to manage stress is to exercise regularly and do meditation and yoga. Also, improving lifestyle and quality of sleep can help reduce stress and consequently oxidative stress. Number five, quit smoking and avoid pollutants. Smoking is bad for your health. Even smokers cannot argue with that. Mostly we know smoking to be responsible for lung diseases, kidney diseases, and many different types of cancer. To add to the misery, it can also trigger oxidative stress. A study published in 2007 found that smoking can trigger oxidative stress not only through the production of reactive oxygen radicals, but also by weakening the antioxidant defense system in the body. Similarly, exposure to pollutants and industrial chemicals also leads to oxidative stress. Finally, to summarize, when the concentration of free radicals becomes greater than the antioxidants, then our body experiences something called oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is linked to many serious problems like cardiovascular disease, DNA damage, and even cancer. Free radicals are the reactive species with an unpaired electron that can react with the molecular structure of the cells of our body and damage them. These free radicals are released during metabolism and on exposure to environmental pollutants and cigarette smoke. Antioxidants neutralize these reactive compounds and keep the body safe from oxidative stress. Some of the signs of oxidative stress include fatigue, muscle pain, memory loss, wrinkles, and decreased eyesight, among others. Some of the ways of combating oxidative stress include eating antioxidant-rich foods, exercising regularly, and improving sleep, among others. We hope that you benefited from this video. If you did, please hit that like button and share this video with your friends and family. Want to see more videos like this one? Please subscribe to our channel, Welcome to Wellness, and press that bell icon as well so you never miss another video. We'll see you in another healthy video. Until then, take care.